Ear Ground Radio. New voices amplified. Greetings, greetings. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to a brand new Voices Amplified. My name is Plot Marco and welcome to the program that gives you some of the amazing voices from Zimbabwe. And today we're going to, I'm going to be speaking to a voice that I consider and regard as Zimbabwe's next biggest international voice. I'm talking to an artist who has uh, been making some great music, some have seen her covers, some might be seeing her for the first time, but she's an amazing voice. And I think she's definitely going to wow the world. I'm going to be speaking to Tandy. But welcome, Tandy. Thank you for having me, Plot. You're most welcome. Um, I've been following your music for a while now, and you've been making great music. Uh, last week, I watched your performance on my guitar, uh, the Motown edition with the... Uh, uh, Tari, Rone Guitar. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. The love, though. Oh my gosh. But thanks for, 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 for watching it. Great, great. So maybe for just an introduction to those that are watching before we go any further, uh, to give them sort of an ins insight into who Tandy is musically. So I'm just gonna pull up uh two of your covers, you know, okay. just a snippet. You did one cover to uh, job praises. So, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy this. Jenge te zaru do re moyo wangu Yarariza kuchema kwe anayangu Omire mire diwire ondo zangu Roku tindiziwe kutindiwe dali wangu Jenge te no more. Come on, I was Sandy Shore. No good in this way, good in the way. Dalwang. Can I sing? No food, I saw. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, happy to just start off the conversation. Who's Tandy? Tandy is actually Tandegile. Okay, let me put my fingers up. Tandegile, Tandanak, Tandega, Jocelyn Bala. Right? Um, they don't even fit on my birth certificate. Wow. Yeah, but how but did it's... you get all those names? Tandekile, Tan. Well, okay, so I'm the only girl. I've got two older brothers, actually. So I'm the only girl, the last born. So I guess everybody was excited. Like, oh my gosh, who's this little bundle of joy with long fingers? And it was I. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine, I will see you, I will see you. Um, so I'm, can you, can yeah. you give us those names again? Tandekile? Tandiwe? Tandanani. Tandanani. Yeah. Jocelyn Bala. Wow. High five. High five. So turn to sums it up because it it, it, it it cuts from two of your names. Yeah. Basically they all talk about love, so mm -hmm. it's all about love. Yeah. And this also explains why you sing a lot about love, right? Yeah, I guess so. I, I sing a lot about emotions. I like to about feel emotions. things when I see it. So 
So if I'm going to sing and you don't feel anything, then uh, something's wrong with me yeah. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's take you back, Tandy, as a child, as a kid. Uh, what was your upbringing like? What was your childhood like? Oh, childhood has got so many great memories, you know, when the family was still intact. And um, when I say intact, it's like my brothers were still home and we would stay together. We would sing together. We would play together. I had people around me. And then, like, as soon as I got a bit older, um, I had to learn how to be by myself. I had to learn how to entertain myself. So. Um, the whole family has always been like a singing family. So we would sing, we would, we do a lot of teamwork together. So there's a time when my brother, Tavani, I don't know if you know him, <laughs> Tavani, he, he, he sent me a guitar. He's also an, an artist. Yes, yes, he's, also, he's not really an artist, he, he's got a passion. Okay. But so he sent me this guitar and then at first I didn't even know what I was doing, like, to be honest, guitar can make you so frustrated with your life if you don't yeah. get the right chords, if it's not tuned properly. Oh my. But later on, you know, the guitar became my friend. It became like my best friend. Music became something so close to me. Um, we have a certain understanding with music. So basically, that was my upbringing. Um, well, I Which neighborhood was that? Where, where did you grow up? You grew up in Blaon. Yes, I grew up in Blaon, uh, Kingsdale, like mm -hmm. Airport Road. Quite it's a quiet neighborhood. Um, I don't really go outside the gate. I usually keep to myself. Okay. But yeah. Wow. Great. First of all, are you learning the guitar? Was there like any sort of form of training? Did anybody? give you like any tutoring or it was like self-taught? It's a long story actually. So when my brother gave me the guitar, he would be like, Tandy, this is how you hold a G. Then I'm like, okay, because you know, you want to get it over and done with, but guitar needs you to have patience. So he would teach me and I'm like, okay, I think I got it, I got it. So I would play a uh, disaster because you have to press the strings really hard. And then he later left the country, and then I went to Sam Siwela. He trained me for a few days, actually, because mm -hmm. I had a show at church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I asked him to teach me a song in, like, mm -hmm. four days. The day didn't turn out that well. I almost gave up again. And then I stuck to YouTube. So I've been on YouTube since that time. So if I need help with chords or how to... Hold some chords. I got Google. Wow, this is quite impressive uh, that you learned the greater part of your guitar playing from YouTube. But let's talk about the singing part. You know, you've got such an amazing voice. I mean, what sort of inspiration? What sort of uh, motivation? Or which kind of artist were you listening to? Um, growing up, right? We've always been in a musical family like i've said this on most of the interviews so the family sings and um whenever we have prayers you know you know prayers we have prayers at home okay could I, could I come on happy sing a song and then we would all learn and then I, I guess that boosted my confidence a little bit so we would all sing and from that time i think that's when i started liking harmony because I feel harmony blends a song in a certain way, and and I think that's what made me start liking music a little bit more. So started at home, and then at church. Church had a huge part in it. Our church is very small, so you would want to say, okay, let me practice that voice that I was practicing when I was at home, and you would sing as loud as you wanted. And it would help you as well say, okay, I think I'm going to do this next week or I'm going to do this on Sunday. And school, I guess, it also helped because I did, um, I was in choir and then I was in also, I was in a group called Rockapellas as well, where we were okay, a, group of, yeah, a group of girls who used to sing a cappella and yeah. Wow. Quite yeah. impressive. Um, but do you have specific artists that you listen to? Um, 
from maybe home and maybe elsewhere that you sort of play, paid much attention to? I look at a whole bucket full of artists. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the school. But anybody who plays guitar is my fan. So Oliver Mtukudzi, the great yes. pianist. Um, yeah, Jack Fraser, yes, I listen to him. Um, uh, internationally, um, Carol King, all these golden oldies, Carol King, the Beatles, yes. uh, these, um, Tracy Chapman, yes. Nate, or oh, even uh, Victor Ponga. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, yeah, Emily Sunday, Ami Fang, there's a whole lot of people that I listen to. So it also depends mm -hmm. on the mood. It's the workout thing, obviously, Makaji or you yeah. know these things that uh, <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, something so you can yeah, yeah. great. But uh, how how just how do you describe the music that you make? The music that I make, um I like I don't I don't know if you've got a name. I like to make music which has a message or which has a feeling. I want you to feel something. So I guess music that has a lot of emotion. People would say, Tandy, you sing sad songs. Eh? Tandy, you make us cry. But it's all about what music makes me feel. And what I feel, I want you to feel, if that makes sense. <laughs> great. great. Yeah. I can't hear you, sorry. Uh, no, I was asking what has been some of the biggest challenges that you've faced so far. Mm, in terms of? Uh, your musical journey, any discouragement, people that thought, oh, okay, leave this, or it's not a worthy career to pursue. Yeah, a lot, a lot of discouragement has come through. But, you know, when, when you're passionate about something, you just keep pushing. Um, when I started, I used to post on Facebook. Um, YouTube, Instagram, yeah, a bit, right? So some people, recently I started posting stuff on TikTok, right? That's oh, why I started okay, posting. Yeah. Right? People were like, oh my gosh, I was like, oh, okay, you like it? <laughs> so um, there's no comments that people would type, right, at the bottom, Lapana, and you like, there was this one comment that really discouraged me, although there were about 300 and something positive things, but yeah. that one thing, like, let me down. What did he say? He said something like, uh, is, is your dream to drop? Like, this is not true. This is not true and, I was for like, you. and I was like, oh, and for a moment, like, I went, like, I blacked out for a bit. And I was like, okay, is this really me? Should I do it? Should I not? Should, what will people say? Um, what will so-and-so say? But at the end of the day, it's not about what they say, it's about what you feel and what makes you sleep. So there have been comments here on YouTube, not, not, yeah, there's been, some, there's been some comments on social media, but I think they're just haters. So haters will always hate. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it's in every field. Eh? You, yeah, you know, there are always people that hate. At times there are people that even drop a dislike, uh, you know, comment before the video drops, before it premieres, like, you already see like the 10 dislikes and you're like oh. yeah, tons. Mm. <laughs> I know they don't know how much it, it it messes up with someone. Um worse with people who deal with um, anxiety or mental yes. health. It really does put someone down. So someone needs to be strong in their passion and know yeah. the direction that they want to go and put their foot down and say, This is me, I'ma do what I wanna do. Is you did. <laughs> great, great, great. And uh, how much work have you released so far? How much music have you made and produced? To be honest, right? I haven't released anything. Um, I've been in, I was, I was in, I was in university the past uh, four years, and before that, I was working and I was doing school. I never really focused on music. So um, I wrote a song during lockdown. I think I'll perform it later. I wrote a song during lockdown last year. And um, what is it called? It's called Akimbo. Okay. Okay. I am okay. So um so I wrote I wrote that song and I really wanted to release it this this month actually, but hey, it's the 30th. 
So I really wanted to release it this month, but we're still on lockdown. So it still needs a bit of polishing up. Um, so that's my first single that I wanted to release. But I've featured on various artists' um, albums. I've featured on Jack Percy. I don't know if you know him. Skills and Indigo Sing. Uh, no, I haven't heard him. Yeah. So I've featured on their songs, and some of them actually made it on on radio. Great. And I also did jingles, if that counts is, as releasing something. Corona jingles, if that counts. Yes. And how, how, how did you feel like the first time you heard your voice on radio? Like a song? Oh, goodness. Oh, my word. It, it, it's like, you know, I thought I was going to conquer the world. I I felt as if, you know, I thought the whole neighborhood should hear this. Like, you know, like, oh my God, listen to me. My parents said, Mama, Mama, come here. Who's this? It's like, ah, it's you, you know. It's just, I, I can't explain the feeling, but it's a, it's a lot of excitement and happiness overloaded. Yeah, that's what it is. Great, great. And uh, if, if, if you could do something apart from music, what would it be? Um, I'm a very arty person. Mm -hmm. So if music, it would have to be painting, drawing, acting, uh, designing, interior. I actually did the interior design once upon a time, oh. or decorating. But yeah. Yeah. Great, great. And five years from now, where do we see you going? Where, where is Tandy going to be in five years? You can know that question is a bit tricky because um, you can write down your plans, but you're not the author of your life. So, so it's a bit messed up, but I've, I do want to do something related to music. I want to have albums out. I want to have videos out. I also want to have a business out, you know? Yeah. So basically, I want to have my name out there. I want to leave my mark on earth and say, this was my purpose in life, and I did it. That's, my, that's what I want to do. That's what I know <laughs> so far. Great, great. But if you were to change something within the music scene in Zimbabwe, what would it be? Maybe one or two things that you feel, okay, maybe if these things could change, then our music industry could go somewhere. Hey, I haven't been in the industry for, for, for the longest period, but I feel there should be a lot of fairness to the different genres that are there and not um, specifically focus on one type of genre and say, this is how you should sing or this is the it music, this other doesn't matter. I think maybe the industry should appreciate genres as well and other artists as well from all over Zimbabwe so that we can all grow as artists and have our passions be put out there, you know? Oh, great. And any possible collaborations or any collaborations that you'd hope to have, or which artists would you like to collaborate with? If you were to pick maybe three artists. Sorry, from Zim or like in general? Um, maybe from Zim, if you pick like three artists that you'd love to collaborate with. Hey, from Zim. Like the people that I've covered, like Tammy Moyo, <laughs> Gemma Griffith, um, yeah, and Ja Praise. Although I want to be dancing, but I'd like, I'd like to see. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are my top three. And then maybe from South, definitely Ami Faku. I really like her voice. Who's yeah. that? She sings, she's from South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I'll say she's really good. Like, she's also another emotional singer, and you're like, ah, oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but how, how has the lockdown situation impacted on your musical career? You know, there's some good things and there's some bad things. Yeah. I like, I'm a positive person, so I like to focus on the positive things. Yeah. It's enabled me to rediscover myself as a person and as an artist because you're 
you need to detoxify from the world as well, right? Yes. And sitting at home and saying, I don't know what to do, what should I do, how can I entertain myself, you pick up the guitar or you write, artistically expanded my perspective. But in terms of money, because I usually <laughs> sing at weddings for birthdays or functions, any functions, and I haven't been able to do that. So if I'm not able to sing at people's weddings because of lockdown, it means no money. It means I can't record. It means I can't shoot a video. So it's a bit, it can be a bit depressing if you really want to think of the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I hear you. And this year, what are we expecting from you? Are you dropping any new music? I hope so. I hope so. I really do want to, I really want to go to see what I have to offer as well. Because you know, we only live once and I really want to put something out there. Not just to sit and all sing in the bathroom or in the place, you know. <laughs> I want to... yes. And how far do you see the international stage? Uh, do, do, do you dream of, of getting to that space and when you imagine yourself on the international stage? like? How far? Do you see it far? Do you see it near? Is it something that plays within your mind from time to time? All the time. All the time, Mr. Plot. I always see myself and I'll be pulling my guitar bag. No, not my guitar. <laughs> nice. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going for a show with someone. It's international things. I like to dream big. And I see collaboration, but I see, I see a lot. Wow. I would go into that. Wow, that is great. And uh, I definitely see you getting there. Uh, your talent is quite amazing. It's, it's something not even doubt. Uh, and the effort that you're putting into your music speaks volumes. Uh, and also, I think the personality. How do you describe yourself? Is, is it... Is this your personality, you know, uh, hyped, uh, humble person, or there is more? <laughs> Just say <ain't> nice things. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. This is me, probably now deserved because I'm on an interview. Yes. But it's like, this is me. Like, if you follow me on TikTok, you, you would know that I'm a free person, I'm a free spirit. Um, I like to see people happy. I like to leave people smiling. I don't really like if the people are certain to me. I like to get into a room and, hey, guys, I was, yeah, you know, feel a little different. So I, I am like this. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Well, wow, thank you so much, Tan. It's been awesome. It's been great speaking to you. And we definitely look forward to your next releases and new collaborations, new works, and even more covers. Uh, but which cover is, have you done that is sort of given you uh, the best response and reaction from people? So far, to be honest, it's the Tengete cover that I did, Ya yeah, Praise as well. Yeah, praise. Because I didn't expect it, because I, 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 I do not see me, right? And a lot of covers, those of yeah. who really see me, I do I've got like a file full of songs. Yes. So I think that is the one I usually sing it at weddings. And I think I get a certain reaction and people will be like, wow, this song, you, you made it your own. Like, you made us feel something. You made us feel another emotion towards the song and we love it. So definitely the Chenge Teza one. Oh, yeah, and, and the Kutera one okay, by yes. Tammy Moore. And yeah. did you get any reactions or any response, communication from... Uh, both artists after dropping those covers? Um, I, I think I got a like and a comment from Tim. But Jack Fraser hasn't seen my cover yet, I think. Oh. So check it. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that he gets he gets to, 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 to watch it if he hasn't watched it and also to give some reaction. I think it's, it's mm. quite encouraging when an artist gets that sort of reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. Yes. So without taking my, you say? I said thank you. I would love that. Great. Now I'll definitely send a personal word to you. 
for you. Great. Wow, thank you so much. It's been awesome, Wendy. It's been great speaking to you. And um, like I requested before, uh, I would love to get maybe one small performance from you, one song, and then we close off the conversation. To everybody who's watching and speaking there to Tandi, Bala, who is an amazing artist, you know, there's so many times that I almost confuse you with Tandi Lana, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, my tandy's with an I, hers is with a Y. Yes, with a Y, you know. But I think I discovered both artists around the same time. And I was like, wow, this is quite interesting that we've got two amazing voices. Uh, amazing. Great. So, yeah, you can, the stage is yours. Feel free to take over. Maybe before, we're just going to take a small commercial break and you come back. We're getting a performance from Tandy. Stay tuned to your new voices amplified. I'm Plot Mark. Are you ready? Airground Radio. We came, we saw, we kicked it. New voices amplified. We are back. Thank you so much for watching. I'm speaking there to Tandy. And before we took the small break, uh, I was about to introduce. There to, she's going to do a small performance for you, so stay tuned. And we're going to speak to you just once more before we end the conversation. So, enjoy. Which song are you going to do for us? I'm going to do Akimbo. Akimbo, okay, great. Song that I wrote during lockdown. During lockdown, okay, great. Yeah. The stage is yours. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, you lose your mind. Who are we? 
Thank you so much. That was beautiful, quite touching, very, very, very moving song. I, 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 I almost got very emotional listening to the song. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Great. And the word to your fans and also other artists that are coming up. Oh, a word to my fans. I would like to say thank you so much. That one like that you put. It really means a lot to me. It, it, it really makes me feel as if I'm, I'm on the right track. You know, those comments that you put on TikTok, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, name it, even on my status updates, I thank you because it makes me want to live an extra day, like positively, you know what I mean? And to those um, that are still trying to find themselves, I think, I think keep pushing, keep pushing because you have a purpose in life and you must make sure you fulfill that. Don't just live and say, so and so is going to say this about me, so and so is going to say this. You do you. You make sure you bloom where you're planted. You make sure you leave a mark wherever you go. That's yeah. that. Powerful. Make sure that you leave a mark, do you, and push yourself. Uh, and this yeah. is what you're doing. And well done. And keep up pushing the great work. How do they connect with you? Uh, what's what's your social media uh, handle for Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and everything? Um, most um, social media handles is Tandi Bala, T H A N D I, and then B H A L A. I didn't put all the five there because they. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, on Twitter, I'm Bala Tandi. Just the other way. Be active on Twitter. Great, great. Wow, thank you so much, Tandi Balanya Kulu. It's been awesome. It's been great speaking to you. And I hope to those that have been watching, you enjoyed the program. Uh, and see you on the big stage. Uh, I believe that in the next three, four years, we're going to revisit this interview and say, we saw her, Karen. That's her. Now she's there, you know. So. Yes. Stay safe and sanitize. You say? Lami niabo ngakakulu. Notenda zikur. Zikur. Great. I like that that accent when you speak short. And thanks. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was Tandy. And thank you so much for watching, for tuning in. And um, uh, maybe to just close off with Chengetez. Uh, 30 seconds and then we're out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. It's been awesome. It's been great. We've been watching you. You've your voices amplified. I was speaking there to Tandi Bala. And thank you so much. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.